I'm Kevin Shakechef, I'm from the University of Nottingham and our exhibition is called The Biology Builders and we're going to be showing how stem cells can be used to make future medicines where we're going to regrow people's tissues and organs. So I first got interested in science like most people at school, I think it was probably chemistry and biology around about the ages of 11 or, or 10 that first interested me. Um, and then as I headed towards university I wanted a career that combined science with medicines and so I chose pharmacy as something that has a professional qualification but also has lots of lots of science in it um, and then having done a pharmacy degree and qualified as a, a pharmacist I then did a PhD which really allows you to get into some detail on an exciting part of science and then from then I decided that's what I wanted to do for the future. So the thing I really enjoy about the job is when we do some new science, we get a new insight into how the human body works, and then we can translate that into a new opportunity for medicine. So it's getting the, the basic science, the chemistry and biology of how the body works, and then seeing how in the future patients who aren't currently well treated could be helped by what we, what we do. And I think when that all comes together, that's sort of the most satisfying and most enjoyable part of, of being a scientist in this area. Personally, I'm, I'm interested in um, fitness and endurance events, so um, doing things like the London, London Marathon and the local Nottingham, it's called the Robin Hood Half Marathon. And my current passion is kayaking, which is um, something that I do a lot. And uh, I take part the last two years in the world's longest ever kayak marathon, which is 125 miles uh, continuous, so you're in the boat for about 30 hours. And last year we did that for the um, Children's Brain um, Tumour Research Fund, which is based here at Nottingham in the medical school. But the race takes part, place over a 30-hour period, so you have to be able to kayak in the dark, which is really hard because you lose all your balance. Um, and so we do a lot of night training. So probably three evenings a week I'm out till quite late on the local rivers and, and canals. I think for, for young people that want to get involved in, in science, my main message would be don't be intimidated by it. Um, in my job, um, I don't know about most of the things that we do. I work with other people who are experts. I'm an expert in one particular area, and there's been plenty of time to get good in that. But you don't have to know everything in this job. What you need to be able to do is communicate, get along with people, and develop really good team team working. And I know and I can remember this from my own experience that at you know, the age of 18, 19 you think how on earth am I going to become you know, a world expert in, in an area? can't know all the things you have to know. But the truth is you don't need to know everything. You just need to, to work hard, enjoy what you're doing and particularly enjoy working with other people. And, and over time you develop those teams and, and projects come together. 